What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part four of my Aliens Fireteam Elite full playthrough. I'm Buzz and uh, we finished up the first three portions, uh, the first three missions. So that was basically Act 1. We're on to basically Act 2. I can't wait to dive into this. Uh, I think this is going to give us a change of venue. Before we move on, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let's get this thing going. Here we are, Giants in the Earth. This is the first part. This is Insertion. We're heading down to LV-895. The Weyla yutani surface lab was overrun by Xenos, but there may be survivors. The closest shelter is the mountain caves to the west. You repel into the caverns for search and rescue. All right, so it does feel like we're about to be on a change of venue. This is really cool. She's talking. Be ready for chop. Be ready for chop. All right, here we go. We're back on the demolisher, of course. Having fun with this thing. I've been steadily uh, spending some of those requisition points, uh, upgrading the weapon, the pulse rifle. Oh, check this out. Yes, it is. It's way different. Check your fire. Remember, we're looking for friendlies. I tell you, after the uh, what is this? Isn't it? A cave. The Katunga or whatever the ship the that I was in for the me. first three parts of this uh, playthrough, it's nice to be in a little change of venue here nice wide open and we've got Xenos let's go weapons hot baby oh get some man that weapon no matter how much I played this so far but we're on to the fourth mission now act two part one whatever you want to call it still sounds so right I mean the audio design on this game all over the place. The audio design in this game is really, I, I love it. Doesn't try to do anything fancy, it just, it gets, it, it brings it all to life for those of, this far from Station, that be have after enjoyed the Get Aliens movies over the years. I mean, that is what A lot of shit down here. the Colonial Some Marines kind of auxiliary base, fallback position. rifle sounds like. Try not to talk over them when they talk. They're basically just giving, like, comms chatter. Oh, mini nukes for the win. Get some, baby. Look at this cave structure. This is gorgeous here. Uh-oh. Is that a spitter? Yeah. Look at this. Hmm. I wish there was a way I could direct the bots to kind of focus fire targets. That would be pretty tight. Uh, we got more. Okay. So beautiful cave structure in here. Let's see if we got anything over here. Oh, I see something. Here we go. Can of Aspen. Intel found Wayland Utani Corporation. Okay. Let's keep it moving. See, uh, yeah, after being in that cargo ship for, I don't know, maybe two hours. Weird door. Maybe an hour and a half. It's nice to be in something Alive different. Terminal. See if you can pull any logs. Looks like kind of like a uh an area that you would see more like out of Prometheus. Oh, there he is. Get some, Mr. Prowler. Got him. I hear something. Is that the door? The doors just keep opening over and over and over again. Incident report. Radiological waste breach. Lockdown. No specifics. Keep advancing. So anyway, if you want to see the first three parts of this playthrough, uh, I'll include links to them down in the video description, also in the pinned comments. Ooh, that totally missed everything. Uh, so you get to see, I guess it's priority one. That's where we go and we go and rescue a Dr. Honaker, I guess his name is. Who is Incredibly bad with a pistol. All he did was stand in front of me once we rescued him. More like a meat shield is what he's good at. Alright, we're about to get back raged. We are. I was just I heard him hanging on the radar. One more. Come on. They always come in threes. Here he comes. Come on. Oh, a bunch more of them. On the tent. There we go. Blood. Not a good sign. Continue your sweep. There could still be friendlies alive. 
So in case you don't know this thing, uh, I am playing it on PC. We're going to record and render in 4K 60 FPS. So if your resolution, if your monitor is able to support that kind of res, crank it up, enjoy all the wholesome goodness this game looks like in person because it really... Like I said, it doesn't try and reinvent the wheel, but it looks good, it sounds good, and the combat is what you expect in Aliens. Just xenomorphs running every which way, coming right at you. So definitely uh, enjoy that kind of resolution if your monitor supports it. Of course, with YouTube, it'll let you do it in like 1080p, or if you want 1440, or you can go all the way up to 2160. 4K. Check six. Xenos following you. Let's go, Xenos. All over the place. Uh. I have noticed that uh, the higher that I played up, especially I finished up Act 1, that was like Priority 1 or whatever when we went down to rescue Honaker, ammo is becoming a little harder to find as I progressed up through it. I've stayed on the standard difficulty, which is, I guess, 3 out of 5. Um, but... Ammo becomes a little harder to find, and med kits are like crack in this game. There he is. Damn. Ow! Oh, headshots! Love the way this rifle sounds. I hope it doesn't get like, uh,. Oh, there he is. The prowler's just hanging there. I hope it doesn't get outdated uh, and you know, outclassed by other rifles later in the game. Hopefully, it'll it'll actually scale with the game because I just want to stay with this thing the entire time. I don't mind playing seven to ten hours of campaign with this pulse rifle because it just it reminds me so much of the Aliens movie. Bill Paxson. My man, just put her in charge. Oh. Coming out of the walls. All right, let's go. Look at these little base camps in these subterranean environments. Looks really beautiful. All right, let's grab some stuff. So much Wayland shit. I don't know what, what this thing does. A here? vulnerability assessment drone. I haven't figured I that one out yet. A facility out here, just Station itself. Probably true to form with this game. From the side holes. Anytime you get. Two or three caches all sitting there together. You're about to have a pretty much a, a structured horde event. You just got to sit here and take them all on, which is fine. That's what we're here to do in the game, right? Combat. Those guys are bad, right there. The bursters. Oof. Spewing acid all over the place. Smart gun for the win. Get some. <laughs> A little mini nuke launcher. I love that thing. I did a little research too on the uh, smoke screen. Yeah, it's more of like a disorient when they're in all around you. That's the E skill right now for the demolisher. The Q skill, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, of course. The Q skill is that mini nuke launcher, but the E is, is that smoke screen. And uh, it only matters when they get in really close and you pop that thing down. Basically, as you get surrounded and it, it stuns them and it disorients the... Uh, any would-be attackers, but they got to be in really close. That does not sound good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. These drone guys are badass. You can see the smoke screen. I kind of disoriented them. They kind of staggered back and took a knee. Mmm. Love it. Let's try this thing out. I still don't know what it does. Maybe somebody, if you are playing this game, tell me what that vulnerability drone thing does. does. Does it expose weak points or does it create weak points? I don't know. Let me know, please, in the comment section. All right, here we go. And there's always a straggler. Let's go. Come on. I need to go ahead and get ammo. Getting a radiological signal. All right, let's examine the barrels. Okay. Ammo. I'm trying to heal this guy and he just keeps running from me. Come here, please. I'm going to use my med kit on you, Mr. Bot Beta. 
And then I go grab this med kit. There we go. I'm gonna get some! Alright. Oh, we ran right through the acid like a noob! Right, let's check this place out. Maybe there's like a hidden cache or something. The game is quite linear in its design. Like, there's only really one way you're gonna go, but they disguised it. What's this beeping sound? They disguised it with a lot of like these dead end caverns all over the place, and then to kind of keep you motivated to go into those. Oh, my drone blew up. Nice. Uh, to keep you going into the, the caverns and exploring and things like that, uh, they put hidden caches in there, which you're going to want because they have specialty attachments, uh, requisition points you can spend at the Quartermaster, uh, consumables, uh, cosmetics, that kind of stuff. All right, let's keep it going. Love these doors, too. Can we get up there? Oh, that's where we were. Right back over here. Is there a straggler? Where is he? There they come. I guess that's a mechanic in the game where it... it it, what it does is it creates back spawns on you and then it sends them after you to try and, I guess, force your hand so you move forwards at a rapid pace. Uh, interesting mechanic. I, I mean, I've seen timed respawns, but this game, like, it, it will constantly bring them in on you. I wonder if it changes on the difficulty settings, too. Like I said, I'm on standard. That's three of five. Oh, damn, what is that? No! Ah! What does that say? Irradiated spitter? Or radioactive spitter? Irradiated spitter. Come on, Mr. Spitter, let's go. Oh, of course, I stand there like a noob and take it. Just keep throwing your hot venom on me, please. I love it. <laughs> Dude! Some more ammo. This is the Colonial Marines. You from Bala Station? Yes, I'm Security Chief Cynthia Rodriguez. You're in danger here, Marines. Yeah, no kidding. We're yeah. here to rescue you. She's like, you're in danger here. Nothing again. Uh-oh. He's all over my squad, mate. Get off him. Man, his pulse rifle slaps. Love the reloads on it, too. The sound design on that thing is crazy. Sound design overall in this game is really good. If you have not played it, just to play it, if, if you're an Aliens fan, just to play it for the to hear the faithful recreation and inclusion of the pulse rifle, the sound that it makes. Some of you may sound, it sounds like it sounds like it's like really bad sound design for that rifle. That's how that rifle sounds in, in the movie. So they use that exact sound out of it. It's great. Look at this guy. Oh, poor Beta. Beta took it to the face. Whoa. Sounds like Whoa. Ah, get off me. Come on now. You're not supposed to do that to me, game. I hate those quick time events, too. Because I know I'm as forwards, left, back, right, and he's trying to tell me to... Attach it to a letter, and I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I just, I just want to mash buttons. I guess I could do that. I could just mash all the buttons at once. Oh boy, another one of those things again, huh? Irradiated spitter. Got him with the mini nuke. He's tough though. Look at him, man. He takes it. He's a tank. Man, he's badass. 
We're here under authority of the Colonial Protection Act. We'll be evacuating survivors. Our position is secure. I recommend you withdraw. Understood, ma'am. Be ready to receive us. Oh, not again. Ah, ah, get off me. And I stand like a noob right in the... <laughs> Where are those guys? Why don't I hear them? Usually the the characters like, you know, Prowler ahead or something. These guys just come pouncing. I, don't, I get zero warning. They're not even showing up on the radar. I mean, they're fun. I mean, they're definitely there to scare the crap out of you, but... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. It's kind of fun, though, when they just pounce on you and you just... Are they going to backrage us? Yep. We're on the freaking ceilings, man. Oh, check this place out. Yes. I love the architecture so far on this. This is like basically Act 2. It's attached to cover. It'll be all tactical. Like Colonial Marines Ninja. Oh my god. Colonial Marines Ninjas. Attaching to cover. Except for we're making a lot of noise. Oh, get some. Mini nuke. Get off my squad mate. Yes, here we go. Mini gun time. Smart gun. Get some. jumped out on me. Not good. I'm running low on ammo. I told you, I started to notice as I've, get, as I've gotten further into this campaign, there's a premium on ammo. There's a premium, a super premium. It's like unobtainium on uh, med kits. Did some. Reload this thing. Come on. Let's get these guys. There we go. This thing's great for mob clears. Yeah, I think I'm just hitting the cover. Let me move up a little bit. Advance! Oh, geez. Here we go. It's an irradiated spitter. Hopefully it doesn't lob that crap at me. Yeah, he did. Uh-oh. I used the cover. Just barely enough ammo. I told you we're secure. You're the only ones in danger here, Marines. All right. I'm pulling out the pistol here. I don't have much ammo at That's all. That's job, ma'am. We'll get you out safe. That's a little pea shooter. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> it's like, all of a sudden, he, he goes from Star Wars weaponry down to, like, a standard police uh, model Glock. And the Star Wars weaponry is not doing anything versus the Xenos. <laughs> What's a Glock going to do, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, finally ammo. Thank God. Yes. Grabbing ammo. Let's go. Reload this giant elephant gun. Reload this sucker, too. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm running up on me like that. Uh-oh. Those the bad dudes. They're hard to kill. Rearming. Some more ammo. Oh, ah. Coming out of everywhere, man. Oh, my poor teammates. I hit those exploders right when they're close to them. Poor things. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Sorry, not sorry. That kind of stuff. <laughs> Look at this place. The water drops. Oh, yeah, I hear him. Going hot. That music. Bam, bam. Every time we kill something. It's like reactionary music. Look at this thing. Damn. There's that smoke screen. Oh, I still didn't do anything. Get off me. 
Take that. Oh, they're everywhere, man. He's gonna try and jump on me. Don't explode on me, please. Just here for the sights and sounds. Damn. I tell you what, man. This this game, it the combat goes on and on. It's like I know they have a, an actual dedicated horde mode. I think you get access to that once you finish all the campaigns. But like. Keep off the lawn and wipe our boots, okay? Keep off the lawn and wipe our boots. But like this entire game feels like a horde mode. It's like aliens horde mode. Does she even want to be rescued? He's all glitched out on the wall. But man, you run out of ammo so fast. Back rage. How quickly they come out on the back rage too. Like it doesn't give you any time. It's like, all right, they're about to leave. All right, let's hit them with the back rage. Let's keep it moving. That sounded rough back there. Oh, maybe it's just a, a door back there. I'm so concerned about getting pounced on again. Oh, I hear him. Uh, that looks like a cache right there. That's what they look like. There we go, the red ones. Hidden cache, got it. Phosphorus munitions. That ought to be interesting. Was it catch them on fire? Oh, look at this. What? That mini nuke. It just brings the pain on them. Man, that's... Look at this. Okay. It's like it takes you from these sweaty indoor caves. What the hell is that? Beautiful outdoors the area. We couldn't see this on approach. Can I get up here? I cannot. Wow, check this out. Look at the skyboxes. What? Yeah, I'm liking this. Such a nice change after being on the on the ship and inside the caves, just all leading up to this. We're coming out everywhere. Okay, let's go. Pulse rifle, baby! Let's go! Xenomorphic spitters. Take the mini nukes to the face. Boy, he's over there. Alpha's over there just beating on him. Oh, I got back rage. Get off me. Now we need to get you across that canyon. I hear him. There we go. All the squealing and hissing these aliens make. The music's kind of funky too. It's banging away at you. So far, I mean, I'm, this is only, I think, the fourth mission of the game, but so far, this is my favorite biome that I've seen. It's kind of underground, but with natural light, cave structures. This has been my favorite so far. The ship was okay, and everyone's seen the ship on the uh, Alien movie. Controls on the overlook. But being the outside like this. Phosphorus pop-up mines. So we're gonna catch them on fire? I'm down for that. This music's crazy. Oh, you got their 
location locked? Can you drop munitions in the gap? I'll assume that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> that was a rhetorical question. Ha, ah, funny. Alright, horde mode again. Well, we gotta hold the location or something. We're we expecting uh we expecting an evac here for the ship, that would be awesome. Controls still popping away. I really like the controls. Except for when I'm accessing this menu. Let's see what those phosphorus mines do. Look at that! What? It's like napalm. Oh my god, everything's on fire. Kill with fire. Can I get down there? I cannot get down there. Crap. I'll leave a little present. You get one. It's like Oprah Day. You get a mine, and you get a mine, and you get a mine. <laughs> All right, let's get across the bridge here. Look at this. Wow. Am I going to make it across? Got 10 seconds to do it? What? Strike away. Can I blow up the bridge? What's going on over there? Whoa! What? Yes! Acceptable accuracy. Acceptable accuracy. Fire team, secure an LZ so we can pick you up later. Dude, those bots were just standing out there like epic level warriors, just like, mm-hmm. We'll sit out here while you bomb the place, I don't silly. Think the company built this. Ouch, look at this place. Sense just got torn up. They're still coming at me. They still keep running. Ow, get off me. Want the little police armament Glock. Save a few shots. I don't mean to do that anyway, crew. Just so you know. That's just me just flopping through the weapons. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't like the sound of that thing. Man, he's a tank. Get away from me. Get away from me. He's chasing me. Bots, get him. Please. Look at that, it's just chewing on him. I can't get any of that stuff out. Right. I thought maybe I had incendiary rounds. Oh my god, what? What is this? Come on now. It's like, alright, we're just gonna send everything at you at once. <laughs> get some. Uh huh. Ow. This thing's over here chewing on my turret. Dude, another one of these things. What? What is this? This is like uh, Alien's version of the uh, last stand of the Alamo here. Good grief. Don't die, please. I'm doing no damage versus that thing. Finally. All large signals cleared. Oh, is that it? She said all large signals cleared. What does that mean? Just plenty of small signals? Rodriguez, we got a Wayland ship, busted since an empty X here. In the absence of new orders, the art of the synthetics from Paula kept repeating their last orders. Collect local life, deliver to Katanga, return with eggs. I told you it's dangerous here. Hey, there we go. Pilot's cowboy hat. So 
Enrico interface craft. All right. We found some more intel there. Dude, this was this was a hard portion right here. They sent several of the, the heavy drones after me. Had swarms of bursters. Oof. That was not easy right there, holding that area. Not easy at all. Is this the end, or do we keep going? Huddle up, fire team. Rodriguez is ahead. Let's figure out what we're getting into. Wow. Okay, so we survived somehow. Beautiful. Uh, as always, please remember to smash that sub button for more of these Aliens Fireteam Elite videos in your daily YouTube timelines. And don't forget to ring the bell to receive all future upload notifications from my channel. If you could take the time to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Find and follow me on Twitch with weekly streams. Join my community Discord server and of course, follow me on Twitter, posting my thoughts on most things gaming related. Links to all of these platforms in the video description below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Signing off.